Hi, submarine friends. Well, I've got the back end of the hull all cleaned out. Uh, somebody suggested I use Joy dish soap to clean up the oil, and I did. Wow, worked fantastic. I mentioned it to my wife, and she said, oh yeah, that'll work fantastic. Well, it did. It worked absolutely brilliantly. So it's nice and clean back in there. I did a little welding back there because I'm going to... Uh, keel cool the engine now. Now it's not going to be a keel cooler, but it's going to be the same principle inside the aft ballast tank. So there's no, I want to keep the hull nice and smooth so it goes through the water easily. So I can just put it inside the ballast tank. Still has fresh water exchanging all the time, so it should work just fine. But I had to add a, I had to add a fitting in the back for a hose to go through the hull. So I had to plug up an old fitting from the propane tank so I just machined a fitting so it's got a pipe thread to it now so that'll be no problem at all so tomorrow that engine goes back in I did some touch-up paint on it it looks really nice now and um, I swapped the oil filter because now is the easy time to do it ran into town and got an air oil filter so um, that engine's gonna go in and it's never gonna come out ever again uh, it's only got 970 hours. I've got another Yanmar excavator here and it's got probably 15,000 hours on it. Still runs beautiful. Like these engines are unbelievable. So that's going in tomorrow and um, everything that goes in now goes in permanently. Uh, I like that stage. I've been in the mock-up stage, but now I'm in the put it in, make sure everything's perfect, cotter pins, key pins, all the rest of it lock it down and that's it it stays in there so another thing that i had to solve a small problem is my hydraulic oil reservoir i don't want uh, the hydrocarbons coming into the atmosphere of the submarine from the hot oil so uh, what i did is when i built the hydraulic tank i added a fitting to go to a bladder now because this is a hydraulic motor and there's no hydraulic cylinders, the oil volume stays very close to the same because the same amount of oil that leaves comes back constantly. But there's still expansion and contraction and I don't want to rely on just the air space in the tank because I want the tank to be quite full for cooling and whatnot. So I've got this. This is a suspension airbag and it's a real soft, I think it used to go in between a coil spring or something. I don't know, a friend of mine gave, gave me a pair of them. I use these for uh, air compensation systems. But anyways, I will just hook a hydraulic hose to this and to the, to the oil reservoir, and it'll be an airtight sealed system. So no venting, no fumes, no nothing coming from the hydraulic tank, which is nice because I don't want stinky stuff. So I, all I'll do is I'll partially compress it so that it can accept air, but it can still collapse more to send air to the tank when it's, when it's needed. So I think that'll work just fine and I can mount it anywhere. I mean, it can just lay in the bottom of the sub for that matter. Mind you, I don't want it rubbing, so I'll have to mount it, but that shouldn't be any problem. So that's what's happening. Tomorrow, the engine goes back in and hopefully there's no injuries because it's a real pain in the butt. I did make an installation chassis originally, so it sits on two skids instead of just sitting, balancing on the oil pan. So I can just put two pipes across these boards and it'll just roll right in. The problem is at that end, it has to drop down about six inches. So I should be able to manage it. I managed to get it out, so I'll manage to get it back in. So wish me luck. Ciao.